I don't understand why people make it such a big deal about their sexuality, okay? Gay, straight, bisexual, all that stuff. I don't understand why they have to make it so theatrical, so dramatic, so exaggerated. Who cares? Be who you are, live the life you wanna live, and that's it. I'm sorry y'all, I just, I just had to say all that because I just don't understand. Okay, all these people make it such a big deal that they're bisexual. You know, when Damo came out, it was such a huge thing. Um, now Salise Rose, I guess, is coming out as bisexual. And what, I really don't know, honestly, <laughs> but the thumbnail and the title of the video makes it seem that way. So, and I haven't read or seen any comments about that yet. I'm just assuming by the title. And you know what, Salise, fucking live your life. But you know what, she wants to make it a big deal, so let's go ahead and watch the damn video. Let's see how she tells her story. Rose and this is my story this is my truth I hope that this video helps someone out in any way shape or form I hope that you guys know that everything will always be okay I hope you guys know this is the scariest thing I think I've ever had to do on social media this is the most vulnerable I've ever been on camera but I want you guys to know that it is okay to be you it's okay to be who you are and stay true to who you are and I hope that you guys are feeling okay after you watch this video and know that everything will always be okay Okay, first of all, how is that the most scariest thing you've ever done? When you came out as a lesbian, I feel like that's like a total left, okay? Coming out as homosexual is a total left. That should have been your scariest. Coming out in between, come on, you're, you're, you're getting towards the straight area. So it, it can't be that difficult as coming out as homosexual, number one. Number two is I understand why people feel the need to come out. I'm not gonna lie to you. Back then I was, I did not understand bisexuality. I did not believe in it. This was in my early 20s, okay? I was very ignorant, very naive, very immature. I know it exists now, okay? I get it. You like who you like and that's that. But a lot of people in the LGBTQ community don't give the respect to bisexuals, I guess you can say. A lot of people in the gay community think that it's just selfishness, that you're just, you just want a piece of everything. That's why a lot of, and that's why, that's why I get why she might be a little bit afraid and why bisexuals are a little bit afraid of coming out because they're gonna hear judgment from both the gay community and the straight community. But, scary, come on, come on. Let's not make it a big deal. Anyways, let's move on. What is your biggest sin? My biggest sin, when it, not when it comes to life, of course, but like when it comes to this stuff, not doing this video sooner. You know, although I figured out who I was this year, 2019. I mean, there's no, I could have done it sooner this year, but I did figure out who I was this year. I think the biggest sin was, I guess, not staying true to myself fully. That's beautiful, by the way. I love that shot. The whole interview thing is retarded. I shouldn't say retarded. I know that's very offensive. It's really, <laughs> I don't know what to say. But the whole interview thing, come on. And waiting a while to do it. You know, although I do have every right to take as long as I want to, as we all do, because you can all come out whenever you want to come out. There's no right or wrong time. Of course. There is no right or wrong time. It's just on your time. That's what I've always told my followers, regardless, you know? I remember that, uh, I dated some girls this past year, they could tell you, I asked them, I was like, yo, what would you do if I was bi? And they'd be like, that'd be freaking weird. And I'm like, yeah? I even asked my family, some family members, they were like, I couldn't see you as that. I wasn't confused, I was just in denial, in a sense. And I was asking because I needed their validation in that moment, like, I was hoping they would be like, it'd be okay. And also, it's also the fact that she lived most of her life as a lesbian woman, so... <sighs> living your life differently now 
out in the open can be, I guess, a little scary. It doesn't matter, but no one ever said that. Everyone was always- But people are only scared because they care too much about what people think. If you just lived your life without judgment, nobody will, would care so much. You wouldn't care as much. Like, I don't know, that'd be weird. That's not you. Like, I see you so, like, your way. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I needed that validation. I think my biggest sin was looking for approval when I didn't need it because all I need is the approval of myself. And once I found that, which I did this year, that's what helped me make this video is when I stopped searching for things that I already had in me. I don't understand this guy, so let's read. Many, many people think you are a liar. They think you are lying about your sexuality. A lot of people think you like guys. They think you're lying a lot about your sexuality. A lot of people think you're like guys. And you're just And you're lying just lying to them. So I think the biggest thing with that is if you go to my YouTube, which I'm never gonna delete the videos, they're always gonna be there. When I was coming out as a lesbian a couple of years ago I posted, I was like, it just never felt right with a guy. And I wasn't lying. Because I just found myself this year. It never felt right with a guy. It didn't feel like I didn't feel anything. But with a woman, it always felt right. I mean, with a woman, it still feels right. Like, I love women. I will always love women, you know? But I wasn't a liar. You know, I came out when I was 16 as a lesbian. I haven't been with a guy in literally pretty much 10 years. I have not. But it's, it's crazy that me being on social media, they all saw it happen. They saw me find myself. It's the scariest thing in the world to put this online. Because they're gonna call me a liar. They're gonna call me a fake lesbian. They're gonna call me confused. They're gonna call me a sinner. They're gonna call me gross. They're gonna call me everything I already know. They're gonna call me, and that's fine. But one thing they can't call me is is not being myself. The scariest thing is to post this, but what's scarier than this is to not be yourself. Is to be trapped. For sure, 100%. And that's not okay. 100%. So people can call me whatever they want to call me. I get hate every day. I think we all do. You know what I mean? But the year I found myself is a year I I said my truth. And that's all I can do. And I'm not ashamed to be who I am. And she's not a liar. Just because she's coming out and she found herself does not make her a liar. I think a lot of people find themselves, or they call it finding themselves, is because they're looking for a name for what they're feeling. And that's when labels come to play. That's why a lot of people don't like labels. They don't like labels because they don't want to be trapped in a box. And I understand that. I'm okay with labels. But if there wasn't such a thing, it wouldn't be so hard to discover yourself and find your sexuality. Because there, there's, no such, there's no such label. You, you don't have to put yourself in a certain group. You like what you like. That's it. That's it. Whoever you fall in love with is whoever you fall in love with. Doesn't matter the gender. Whoever you marry is whoever you marry. What's Same. crazy to me is that everyone can tell you all day, every day, hey, be yourself, love yourself. And whenever you do it, you're like, no, but not like that. Not like that, don't do it like that. People wanna tell you how to be yourself. I don't think people really understand this but people, even kids, kids, adults, teenagers, kill themselves every single day. They commit suicide every single day because they're not accepted. They're scared to come out. They think that they're weird. They think that everything is just the end of the world. So I wanna bring awareness that whether you think you're straight, gay, bisexual, whatever, whatever, there's so many terms to this, and that's a beautiful thing. It's okay to like whatever you like, because we're not hurting anybody. I'm not hurting anybody. It's okay to be you. It's okay to come out, but on your own time. There's no, no pressure, no rush. There is no right or wrong way to do it. It's just whenever you're ready, you just do it. And whoever accepts it, good. Whoever doesn't, that's fine. At least you know that you accept you, and you win. What do you want this video? What do you want this video to do for your supporters and yourself? Ultimately, I did this video to make a difference. Let me quickly add in, I just wanted to- That's what I wanna know. Please let me know why you did this video, why you're making it such a big deal. First and foremost, say that I wanna be honest with my supporters. You know, I think everyone, everyone in the world knows how much I love my supporters. Everyone knows this. First and foremost, they deserve me to be honest, but the ultimate goal for this video, hopefully it happens, 
was to save someone's life. So many times a day people tell me, hey, Silise, like, thank you for what you do. You saved me. You helped me with, with my divorce. You helped me with, with coping with the loss of a family. You helped me with this. You helped me with coping with that. And I just, I want this video to just save someone's life. I want them to know that. Like, I'm going through this too. Like, I'm that person. You know what I mean? Like, I just want them to be okay. And it's okay to be confused. Or it's okay to not know who you are. But it's not okay to commit suicide over this because even this year, like I was so vulnerable on camera. I don't know if anyone saw my YouTube video about it. A lot of people did where I was suicidal this year mm -hmm. because something really, really bad happened to me and I literally wanted to end my life. And I don't know, that was hard because like, I'm a very strong person. So for me to get to that mentality, being as strong as I am, God knows what other people go through that aren't as strong, you know what I mean? Sometimes you want to, you know, end your life or hurt yourself or cut yourself and it's like, why? You know, we're not hurting anybody. I just want people to know that it's okay to be you, you know? The most bravest thing you can ever do is be yourself and also be vulnerable. And I think when people get to the point to where they are depressed or suicidal, they think that's weak. And it's not necessarily weak. It's just trying to find the strength to be brave enough to be vulnerable. People are afraid to speak up and to speak about how they're feeling and how low they are in life because they're afraid of people calling them weak or looking at them in that light. But if you're vulnerable and you're able to open up and speak to people and vent to people, that's the most bravest thing you can ever do. Not only for yourself, but for others. You don't know who else you're helping. That conversation you're having with that person, you don't know what they're going through. You're probably helping them too. I don't know. Life is already hard enough as it is, but loving someone should not be hard. Facts. And that's my message. Facts. Just be you, you know, whenever you're ready, just, it's okay, it's okay to be you, it's okay to not be okay. But it's not okay to, you know, bully other people because you don't accept what they believe in. It's not okay to end your life because you don't feel accepted. And I want them to know that. Even me, as an influencer, as a huge public figure, that I'm not okay sometimes, but it will always be okay. And that's my message. I just want to help someone. I want to save someone's life because I'm tired of going on the news and seeing that a seven-year-old killed himself or an adult because they didn't want to come out. They didn't say that. They felt bullied. They didn't feel accepted. So I just hope that my video brings awareness. I know it's going to bring a lot of hate to me, and that's fine. I can take the heat all day. It's fine. I can take it. But as long as I help someone today, <coughs> then I did what I had to do. I fulfilled my purpose today, and I'm happy about it. How do you feel about it now? How do you feel telling this to your supporters? Realistically, this is a very scary thing for me to do. You know, I'm not scared of the public of what they have to say. It's just scary for someone to even come out. I get it, you know? But I feel free now. I don't have to hide and be like, uh, just be someone I'm not. You know, I found myself this year and I'm glad that I'm saying it this year. I feel happy. I feel like I'm not boxed in anymore. I don't care what anyone says just because of the fact that like I already have the validation for myself like I told you previously so I feel happy I feel free I feel okay and I feel like out of all the things I've done wrong in my life which we all do I just feel like that at least I could say that I was always myself you know I'm not perfect I don't want to be perfect no one's perfect but I am me and I will always stand for what I believe in and fight for what I believe in. My manager told me that weeks ago. He, he, he told me, you've always fought to be who you are. Why aren't you doing it now? Mm. And I was like, that's a good manager. Good point. So I feel free. I'm happy. I'm me. And no one can take that from me. So. Okay. Okay. Lesbian, confused, liar, sinner, you're a joke.
good job to the videographer and to the editor. They did a good job with this video. You have to wash yourself from all that. All the negativity, all the judgment, all the crit criticism, all of that. Be yourself is what she's trying to what she's trying to say in this video. Okay, so and a big old smile at the end. Okay, I jumped the gun like I sometimes do. I'm human. I read the title, I saw the thumbnail, I'm like, oh God, here we go. I'm bisexual, blah, 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 blah. And this is why I like men, I like women, blah, 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 blah. This wasn't that. I like this video because she was pretty much saying, be yourself, whatever that is, be yourself. And it was awareness to suicide also. So I have to give it, this is a good video. I liked it and it was um, a good representation of her being herself and hopefully it will help others. So I appreciate that. Good job, Celise. Live your life happily. Who gives a fuck what people have got to say, what people think, and love who you love. That's it. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every motherfucking time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.